A guy woke up in the middle of the night, really thirsty. He was really parched. That's what had woken him up. He thought to himself, I could really do with a lovely uh, drink. I know I'll go downstairs and get a can of Coke. So he forced himself out of bed, went downstairs, went into the kitchen, opened the fridge door and there was no Coke there. Someone had drunk the last can of Coke. He thought to himself, oh no, I'll have to go down the shops to go and get myself that can of Coke that I really want. So he opened the door to go to the shops and it was raining. He thought to himself, I ain't going out there. So he went and got a drink of milk and went back to bed. And he did that because he didn't really want that drink that bad. Another guy woke up in the middle of the night. Same thing happened to him. He was really dry, really parched. Thought to himself, I could really do with a can of Coke. He went downstairs, went to the fridge, opened the fridge. There was no cans of Coke in there. He thought to himself, oh, really? Oh, I really could do with that can of Coke. So he opened the door to walk down to the shops and it was raining. He thought to himself, oh, I'll put my coat on. I'll run down the shops. It's not that far. Went down to the shop. It was closed. I'll give up. He said to himself, he went back home got himself a drink of water and went back to bed. Why did he do that? He did that because he didn't really want that can of Coke that bad. Another bloke, another guy, he wakes up in the middle of the night too. He's also really dry, really parched. He says to himself, no, I just got to have a can of Coke. I want a can of Coke. I need it to quench this thirst of mine. He went downstairs to the fridge, opened the fridge. There's no can of Coke in there because someone else... I drunk the last can in his house too. <sighs> I really want that can of Coke, he said. So he went to the door, opened the door, saw it was raining. <sighs> I'll put a coat on then, I'm going down, I'm having that can of Coke. He went to the shop and it was shut. He thought to himself, I really, really need this can of Coke. So he walked on down the road to the next shop and that was shut too. And he walked on to the next shop because that was shut too. And he kept going until he eventually found an all night shop and he got his can of Coke, he drank it and he quenched his thirst and he was satisfied. Now, why did that man do that? The reason is because he really, really, really wanted that can of Coke real bad. He wanted it real bad. And that's what happens to us in life with our hopes and our dreams are the things that we want in our life. They're all there for us to go and get. Anything that me, you, we, that we want to have in our lives and come true for us, you know, we want to have them, experience them in our life. We can have the world. We truly can have the world. But the secret to getting it is wanting it, to have a real sense of why. And you've got to want it real bad to go and get the thing that you want in your life. If you take the other two guys, they wanted to have a can of Coke, didn't they? But they didn't want it real bad. So they ended up getting a poor substitute to what they wanted. One had some milk and one had some water. They didn't get what they wanted. They settled for something less. But the other guy, he kept going until he found that shop that was open and he got what he really wanted what he put himself out to get. Me, this isn't the can of Coke that I would go and get because I'm from back in the day. I only drink the real thing and that is original Coke. I pick the red can up every time. So if you're not careful in life when you want that real thing, if you don't really want it that bad, you go in a shop and it's sold out, you might pick up this, which in my eyes is a poor substitute. And that's what happens in life. If you want stuff, you want relationships, <coughs> career, the money, you want all the glory, the, anything you want, you can truly, truly have it, but you've got to want it to have it that bad. You've got to want it to have it real bad. You've got to have a hunger for it, because if you have, you will just keep going and going and going until you get it. And that's what the people who we see around us who have great achievements, they wanted it real bad. Some people say they may have just been lucky, but you know what? The harder people work, the more luckier they seem to get. So if you want something, the secret, remember this is you've got to want it real bad.